What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Lockdown Coverage. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Daniel. On today's episode, we are going to continue to our already ongoing top 10 list. I've already covered quarterbacks, running backs, and wide receivers. We are going to be transitioning to defense and we are going to be doing cornerbacks. I will be doing top 10 cornerbacks going into the 2020 season. So if you're a corner that was uh, kind of top 10 going into 2019 or borderline and you're getting old, you might not be on this list. Don't be surprised by the names you see. They're young or they're upcoming or they're already established as the best in the league. So let's get into it. And I'm just stating that all of these corners are really good in press and bump coverage. You have to be a really good corner to either play zone or man coverage. Really athletic, have to be all over the field, have to be able to shadow corner uh, wide receivers and do everything that the coaches ask of you. So at number 10 on this list, I do have Marlon Humphreys, Ravens cornerback. Yes, he came into his zone last year. Yes, he did switch his number to 44, which does look a little weird for a corner, but it did not change his playing style. He is a physical bump and run corner. He could play man coverage. He's really good in zone coverage as well. That Ravens uh, defense is loaded at cornerbacks. They also have Marcus Peters and their secondary is loaded as a whole. So Marlon Humphreys comes in at 10, can do everything. I think he'll take a jump. He might go into this top five if he keeps on progressing in my opinion. So that is who I have at 10. At number nine, I have newly Miami Dolphins cornerback, Byron Jones. Yes, even though he does not get a lot of interceptions in Dallas, his pro football focus rating is always in the top 15 in the league. He is super athletic. If you guys don't remember, he broke the broad jump rep record at the combine. And again, if you guys don't didn't see him play at that much in Dallas, he's all over the field, can cover your number one corner, held the, some of the top wide receivers to very few to minimal to zero catches. I saw some stats because I'm a Dolphin fan. So I did look in depth into his stats and they were really good against top wide receivers. So Byron Jones at nine, again, if he plays really well, maybe now since he's opposite Xavier Howard, he could continue and get interceptions because he, he'll get targeted more. Teams won't know exactly where to go if it's across from him because now they have two really good corners on the boundaries. At number eight, I have again, new player to the LA Chargers, Chris Harris. Yeah, Chris Harris from Denver has always been really good, really productive for a lot of years, was amazing with Aqib Tlaib, led that Denver Broncos team to the Super Bowl and won the Super Bowl with Von Miller. Of course, that defense literally carried them that whole year. Peyton Manning was on the decline, if you guys don't remember. Chris Harris is a stud player. He could still play all over the field, but I think his best position now is in the slot. And nowadays in the NFL, there is a shit ton of great slot receivers. So he will be, he will have a valuable position on the LA Chargers. They are, they also do have Casey Hayward, who's also a really good corner, and Desmond King. That is who I have at eight. At number seven, I have Xavier Howard. Yeah, you guys might be like, oh, he barely played last year and he didn't play that well. I still think he's one of the most athletic corners in the NFL. And if he comes back healthy, he will continue on the season he had in 2018, where he had led the NFL with seven interceptions. I think he's a beast. His ball skills are probably the best, in my opinion. And this isn't because I'm a Dolphins fan. Out of any corner I've seen, he can intercept the ball. He's like a wide receiver, more or less. So I think if he stays healthy, he'll be in the top five of cornerbacks as well. He is slept on. Not a lot of people know about him, unless you're a Dolphins fan, really. At number six, I have Kyle Fuller on the Bears. Yes, he's short, but he is physical as well. He dominates the line of scrimmage. That is what you want from your number one cornerback. I think that he is going to be really productive, especially if the Bears continue to have a good pass rush with Khalil Mack etc etc their secondary is really good as well as eddie jackson so i think he could actually benefit from having a good pass rush and a solid secondary and kind of locked in on that number one wide receiver week in and week out at number five i have patrick peterson yeah patrick peterson has aged a little bit he's now 30 i think going to turn 31 soon i think he's still a beast has been one of the most consistent cornerbacks i've ever seen in my lifetime he's a stud every year i don't have much to say about him i think he'll transition well into this arizona cardinals defense or continue to transition well because they have Kyler murray and stuff i think he'll be more motivated to be really good because the cardinals are going to be playoff contenders i think later on in the year at number four i have marshawn Lattimore. yes he had a down year last year but the Saints did not have anyone in their secondary. Literally no one. He got picked on. He got way more targets than he did in years past. And because of that, you're obviously going to allow more catches because you just can't stop everything. But Marshall Lattimore is still a beast. Still 
that really good player that he was his rookie year. I still think he'll bounce back and have a better year than he did last year. So I have him at number four. At number three, and this player made a huge jump with the Buffalo Bills, Tredavious White. I love his playing style. Again, really good tackler, really big and physical corner. Does have that top end speed, can play against any wide receiver, unless maybe you're Tyree Kill, but no one can guard him. So Tredavious White, I think will continue to grow. I think he'll be one of the top cornerbacks in the NFL even though he is right now, I feel I, I think he could jump to one if he continues to develop as well. At number two, I have Jalen Ramsey on the LA Rams now. I think he will get a new deal done eventually. I think in the near future, he just said that he won't hold out for a new contract. Jalen Ramsey is a stud, has always been a stud since Florida State literally talks all the shit, backs it up because he barely allows anything. Big physical player, can play safety if he really wanted to. That is how physical he is. I don't think any other cornerback can really do that. Can tackle, can play with all the big 6'5", DeAndre Hopkins, AJ Green is really good against all of them, which is actually crazy to think of. And then at number one, I have Stephon Gilmore from the New England Patriots, a defending defensive player of the year. I still think the Patriots defense is gonna be their top priority. I think they are gonna constantly Trey on keeping that defense really good. He is signed to, I think, another two or three years to that big contract they gave him in free agency. Pretty sure it's two years, but I think he will still be really productive. He will shadow and take away any top wide receiver that I'm confident of. I'm surprised that he actually made the jump that he did last year, but he is my number one cornerback on this list. If you guys like this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate it. More top 10 lists to come. Let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to do any specific lit top 10 lists next. Thanks for watching, guys.